stop. After Sarah went to bed, she saw a ghost. It was sitting on her dresser, staring at her through two black holes where its eyes had been. She shrieked, and her mother and father came running. There's a ghost on my dresser, she said, trembling. It's staring at me. When they turned on the light, it was gone. You were having a bad dream, her father said. Now go to sleep. But after they left, there it was again, sitting on her dresser, staring at her. She pulled the blanket over her head and fell asleep. The next night, the ghost was back. It was up on the ceiling, staring down at her. When Mary saw it, she screamed. Again, her mother and father came running. It's up on the ceiling, she said. When they turned on the light, nothing was there. It's your imagination, her mother said, and gave her a hug. But after they left, there it was again, staring down at her from the ceiling. She put her head under the pillow and fell asleep. The next night, the ghost was back. It was sitting on her bed, staring at her. Sarah called to her parents, and they came running. It's on my bed, she said. It's looking and looking at me. When they turned on the light, nothing was there. You're upset over nothing, her father said. He kissed her on the nose and tucked her in. Now go to sleep. But after they left, there it was again, sitting on her bed, staring at her. Why are you doing this to me? Sarah asked. Why don't you leave me alone? The ghost put its fingers in its ears and wiggled them at her. Then it stuck its tongue out and went, Thup! And then it says in the parentheses, to make this sound, put your tongue between your lips and blow. It is called giving them, giving someone the raspberry. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs>